This is a demonstration of the power flow through a Toyota AB60E and AB60F automatic transmission. This is a six speed automatic transmission. Uh, the AB60E is a two wheel drive version. The AB60F is the four wheel drive version. Uh, this transmission can be found in 19, er, 2007 and above Toyota Tundras and 2008 and above uh, Toyota Sequoias. <coughs> this uh, six speed automatic has three planetary gear sets. Uh, down inside of this housing here we have a front planetary gear set, a center gear set, and a rear uh, planetary gear set. This transmission also has um, eight clutch packs. Uh, four of them are called brakes. And a brake is something that's going to stop part of the planetary gear set from rotating. And those brakes are uh, labeled uh, down here at the bottom we have the B4 brake, here's the B2, here's the B1, and here's the B3. So they're not in numerical order, but we have four brakes that are going to stop components of those three planetary gear sets from rotating. Uh, one or more of those will be applied in the different gears as we move forward. We also have four clutch packs that are going to be connected to rotating parts of the planetary gear set uh, to make them rotate. Uh, two of them are, are underneath this housing here. We've got the C1 clutch and the C4 clutch. And then two of them <coughs> spline to the outside of these two housings, the C2 clutch and the C3 clutch. And then we also have four one-way devices. Uh, those devices uh, on this transmission are actually Sprague clutches. They rotate in one direction but not the other direction. Uh, starting at, at the bottom here, we have the F3 Sprague, the F1 Sprague, the F2 Sprague, and then inside of this housing down below here is the F4 Sprague. <coughs> so, what I'm going to do is take you through each of the six forward gear uh, ratios, uh, show you which brakes are held, which clutches are applied to get the different gears uh, forward, and then also reverse. We have the input shaft here. I've got a yellow mark on the input shaft as an index. We've got the output shaft here with, <coughs> here with a yellow mark as an index. And oh, by the way, down at the bottom here is our parking gear where the parking pole is going to come in and engage and keep the output shaft from turning to hold the vehicle when we're in park. So to begin with, uh, in first gear, we have to have the C1 and the C4 clutches applied. Well, that's these two clutches that are in this housing here. And so I'm going to turn the input shaft that's connected to our uh, torque converter, the turbine in the torque converter. Uh, we've got a fluid coupling to the engine's crankshaft. And so we're going to turn this uh, input shaft uh, and have the C1 and C4 clutches on. And then we have to have the uh, F3 sprag holding and the F4 sprag holding. Well, the F4 sprag holding is down inside of here. The F3 Sprague is this big cast iron uh, lug uh, housing right here. So I'm going to hang on to that. We're going to have a gear ratio of 3.33 to 1. So 3 and a third turns to 1 of the engine to the output shaft. So here we go. Here's one turn in. Two turns. Three turns and a third, three and a third turns in to one third out is our first gear ratio. <clears throat> to shift to second gear, we're still going to keep the C1 and C4 clutches applied and now we're going to apply the B3 brake. Well, the B3 brake is right here. So I'm going to hang on to this housing and, and keep it from moving. Let me line up our yellow marks so we can start over. So now for second gear, we should have a gear ratio of 1.96 to 1. So almost two turns of the input to one turn of the output. Here we go. One turn in. Almost two turns in, and we've got one full turn of the output shaft. So that's uh, second gear. Uh, in second gear, um, 
We also had the F1 and F2 Sprag uh, holding, and they hold during acceleration. We didn't have to do anything to those to, to make them uh, hold. Uh, they're mechanically engaged. So now when we go to third gear, we still keep the C1 and the C4 clutch applied in this housing. Um, but now we have to apply the C3 clutch in, in addition. Well, the C3 clutch, if we rotate this around, is the clutch that contacts this housing. So let me get the uh, yellow marks lined up again here. There we go. So I'm going to have to turn the input shaft and the C1 and C2 clutches and the C3 clutch together while holding the, the uh, B3 uh, brake, which is right here. And our gear ratio in third gear should be 1.353 to 1. So I'm going to try to turn this and these two at the same time, but not turn this. It'll kind of turn on its own. But we should get about one and a third turns in to one turn out. So here's our one turn in. And there we go, we're one full turn out. We've got another third of a turn on the input shaft. So that's our uh, third gear. Uh, fourth gear on this transmission is direct drive, where one turn in equals one turn out. And in fourth gear, <coughs> the way we get fourth gear is to keep the C1 and C2 clutches applied down inside this housing, but then also apply the C3 and the, oh, I'm sorry, this is the C1 and the C4 down inside of here, but also apply the C3 and the C2 together. So let me line up the uh, yellow marks. We're going to turn these two housings and these two clutches together. And just by doing that, you can see quite simply, <coughs> one turn in gave us one turn out. Okay. Uh, now this transmission is a six speed. We've only gone up to fourth gear. Fifth and sixth gears are both overdrive. So this is a double overdrive uh, transmission. Uh, fifth gear, uh, we're going to apply the C1, the C2, and the C3 clutches uh, together. Now, to do that in this demonstration, I'm going to take this housing out because the C1 clutch is down inside of here. And here's the housing that the C1 clutch grabs. And I'm just going to reach down inside with a little pocket screwdriver here. And I'm going to lock these two housings together the C3 and the C2 clutch housings, and then our input housing with the C1 clutch would also be locked together here. And so we're going to turn those three, and at the same time we are going to hold the B1 brake uh, and the B3 brake. Well, the B3 brake's right here, the B1 brake's right here, so I'm going to hold those, and let's see, let me line the marks up. Well, don't have a mark uh, on this housing, so I'll just have to use my hand. So we've got the yellow mark here. Right here is where we're going to um, grab and drive for uh, fifth gear. So I'll hold the B3, the B1, and we're going to turn. We should get one full turn of the output shaft, which we did. But notice my hand is over here, and I started here. We're only three quarters of a turn around in on the fifth gear driving. So that means we, we had uh, 0.728, not quite three quarters of a turn, of the input shaft rotating, and we got one full turn of the output shaft, which is overdrive. Um, and that's a, a pretty standard overdrive gear ratio for most transmissions. But then this transmission has a sixth gear, which is a double overdrive. And in sixth gear, we're just gonna apply the C2 clutch along with the C1 clutch. Well, the C2 clutch is this upper housing right here, C2 clutch. Let me line that up with, let me line the sticker up with the output shaft yellow mark. So I'm gonna turn the C2 clutch housing, and at the same time, we have to have the B1, B2, and B3 uh, brakes on. So 
Here's B1, B3, B2. I will hold all of those from turning and turn the C2 clutch and our output shaft gear ratio should be 0 0.588. So we should get just roughly half a turn of the input to one turn of the output. So here we go. We got one turn of the output and if I turn this around half a turn a little uh, more than half a turn, 0 0.588, uh, six tenths of a turn we had uh, on our input, which is sixth gear. Okay, then uh, the last gear we need to do is reverse. Reverse is accomplished by turning the C3 clutch, which is this housing here, and at the same time holding the B1 and the B4 brakes. The B1 brake is right here, the B4 brake is down at the bottom. So I have to hold these two and turn the C3 clutch. Uh, in this demonstration, to turn that C3 clutch, I'm gonna take that C2 clutch housing out of the way. Uh, let's see, let me line up the yellow mark with our sticker here. I'll hold this, these two uh, brakes from turning, and we should get a reverse gear ratio of roughly three to one, 3.061 to one. So here we go. Output shaft is turning backwards. We've got one full turn in, two full turns in, and three full turns in, and a tiny bit more, 3.061 to 1 for the reverse gear ratio on this Toyota AB60E uh, or AB60F transmission. Uh, this transmission is made by Ison which is a uh, Toyota owned uh, company and once again this is used in the Toyota Tundra 2007 and above and Toyota Sequoia 2008.